Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. I can say is uh, when it came up that I was a Scientologist, um, it was like that the teachers were aggressive to me and they were like selling the other children. I got in Scientology because my parents were in Scientology before I was born and my mom was on staff when I was born. And um, I spoke to my parents about three times a day. At that point, I didn't go to school. I did about eight and a half, eight or nine months I was doing this. I got in Scientology because my parents were in Scientology before I was born. And my mom was on staff when I was born. And um, I spoke to my parents about three times a day. At that point, I didn't go to school. I did about eight and a half, eight or nine months I was doing this. I got in Scientology because my parents were in Scientology before I was born. And my mom was on staff when I was born. And um, I spoke to my parents about three times a day. At that point, I didn't go to school. I did about eight and a half, eight or nine months I was doing this. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning 